A strong Japanese infantry force crossed the Halha River during the night of July 2nd and occupied the Bain Sagan Heights. Zhukov quickly organized a counterattack using the 11th Soviet Tank Brigade, supported by the 7th Armored Brigade. The Japanese forces were ill equipped to face tanks and resorted to Molotov cocktails. The Japanese spearhead on the west side of the Halha River was blunted and the Japanese infantry was eventually forced to withdraw. On the other hand, the fighting on the east side of the river raged on for three days. Poor coordination by the Japanese forces, however, brought what seemed to be a crushing force in the Japanese 4th and 3rd armor to a grinding halt. The stage is set, the battle lines are drawn, and you are in command. The rest is history. Hey folks, welcome back to me versus you, Memoir 44, Calc and Gold campaign, uh, most recent expansion for Memoir 44. Uh, this is the third in our series. This is the third uh, scenario in the Calc and Gold campaign, and it is a breakthrough scenario. So we have a special map that comes in the package uh, of for the Calc and Gold campaign, and that's the map that we're using. They are really neat maps because it has most of the terrain out there. Uh, but I went ahead and, and used used the um, hill terrain pieces that I have that make those hills kind of pop up off the map a little bit. So we did use that, but for the most part, most of your uh, terrain is already on the board, so it makes setup a little bit faster. Uh, so that's really cool. But uh, as you might have already guessed, um, last time I said that I thought we changed history but I don't think we did because I think the uh, the Japanese forces did make it across Kawatama Bridge and uh, they are now pushing for the Bay uh, Bain Sagan Heights I probably murdered the pronunciation both just now and in that introduction video but uh, I think history is intact still up until this point uh, because you guys have made, did make it across the Halha River, uh, so uh, that is a pretty cool thing. I'm keeping my uh, picture here because I thought that was a rather, uh, uh, it's the same one we used last week, but I thought that was good because of your uh, victory last week. I would go ahead and keep that. So, a couple of different things with Breakthrough. We use a different deck than we would nor than we have been using so far. Uh, and the reason is, is because these maps are, are slightly larger than your regular maps, and uh, they have some different things on the cards. First of all, they're going to, you're going to see things that say uh, something to the effect of like order uh, three units and one on the move or something to that effect. What that means is that you're going to be able to order three units in that field, in that part of the field, and then you're also going to be, give, be able to give one more order to another unit, but all they can do is just move. All right, so those are, uh, that's the main difference in these different breakthrough cards. And if you have any questions, we'll go over those case-by-case uh, -case things when we get there. Now, before we actually get into the battle, we do have a couple of different things that we need to take care of. First of all, uh, we need to do attrition rolls and your reinforcement rolls because you did take Kawatama Bridge in the last one. So you had that objective medal and uh, we get to uh, roll some possibility possible reinforcements uh, for that one so let's go ahead and do um, <laughs> knew I forgot something forgot the dice be right back say something Kenny dance a jig <laughs> yeah go ahead I I'm getting some dice out of one of the base boxes all right, shouldn't be long. There we go. All right, put those right there. Put those back in there. Close this back up. Oh, 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 oh. there we go. All 
All right. <laughs> I'm back. All righty, here we go. Um, all right, attrition rolls. First of all, you guys have an attrition roll. Uh, I only got one of your um, type 97 tanks. So uh, one of your units. So that is the only attrition roll that you guys have. So I have to roll a die and it's either going to be your tank symbol or, oops, excuse me, <laughs> or a grenade. And that was definitely cocked. So let me re-roll. And it's a star, nothing happens. So you guys don't have any attrition. <sighs> All right, I, on the other hand, have to roll five, no, I'm sorry, four different attrition rolls. Uh, there's going to be two infantries. Let me make sure here. Yeah, two infantry rolls, one tank roll, and then I have to roll for my big guns to see if you guys have permanently taken that out of action, which would be very bad. All right, so here we go. Two infantry rolls here. I'm gonna do them both at the same time to kind of save on time. And neither of them. All right, super, so far, good. A tank roll. No. Oh, ho, ho, ho. am I going to survive? And here for my big gun, we're basically just looking for a grenade. No. Yeah. All right. Super duper. All right. Now for your uh, reinforcement roll, we're going to roll two dice. And depending on the combination that comes up, that will determine whether or not you're going to get a reinforcement, uh, a unit for reinforcing, or uh, rather what kind of unit you're going to be getting. So here we go. Let's see what that combination is. Two dice rolled and you have a infantry and a star. Okay, here we go. Infantry and a star result is a special troop unit of this type deployed as the reserve unit. The choice of which uh, special troop that may be deployed, however, is limited to the special troop types that are going to be deployed in the next campaign scenario. All right, so this campaign scenario, um, the only special troops that you guys have um, is an armored car. You don't have any uh, special troops that are infantry because you don't have any cavalry units. I only have, uh, there are only two cavalry units in the, in the scenario and I have them both. So you don't have any special infantry units that you could get extra of. So I'm very sorry. You don't actually get to uh, take part in that special little thingamadoogie hopper because the only special units you have are the armored cars uh, and those are those are armored special units. So um, uh, all of your infantry are just regular infantry. I'm sorry, uh, but that's that's how them apples drop from the tree. All right, uh, just a couple of other things while Kenny still works on some of those angles a little bit. Uh, we have a couple of other special rules. So for example, uh, the I have started with a medal here. And the reason I start with the medal is because I am currently occupying Rimasova Hill over here. Now, if you push me off of Rimasova Hill, it will be a objective for you. I will lose it and you will gain it. Uh, additionally, there are uh, a couple of award medals over there, objective medals over there, where the uh, Bain Sagan Heights actually are. And basically, the way that works is here. Let me just read it for you. The four Bain Sagan he Height hexes and the three Rimasova Hill hexes, these guys right here, are two distinct groups that each form a temporary soul control. Last to occupy metal objective worth one metal for either side. As the allied player occupies Rimasova Hill, he starts with one metal. All right, so the last player to occupy those are the ones who get those medals. So they are temporary medal objectives. They are not permanent ones, and they can be taken back depending upon who is occupying those hexes. The allied player gains a uh, temporary medal objective at the start of the turn worth one medal if the Axis player does not have at least one Axis unit on their right side of the Halha River 
at the start of the allied player's turn. So your right hand is my left hand. So that is this over here. If you don't have any units on this side of the Halha River, which is right here, at the start of my turn, I get a temporary metal objective. Okay, so that's something you got to keep track of. You got to kind of, uh, I didn't see anything, didn't see anything. I did see something, but I didn't read anything. There you go. Um, so keep that in mind as you're moving along. Other special rules that we need to go over just so that you understand how to play the, this scenario. Allied and Axis armor can only move one to two hexes and battle. Except for these Type 97s out here, the T-Keys over here that you guys have behind my line. Do not forget that they are here. All right? These guys can move three and battle. Regular tank units like mine over here, like yours back there, those are moving one to two and still battling. These guys can move three and still battle. And these guys on the road means they can actually move four in battle if you choose to do so. Uh, Russian command rules are in effect. Japanese Imperial Army rules are in effect. Uh, let's see here. I do have one unit of flamethrower tanks, so keep that in mind as well. The, the rest of them, these guys here, are not flamethrower tanks. They're just regular guys. Uh, da -da -da. So I do have my big guns here. I have machine guns here. I have anti-tank units right here and right here. So you got to make sure that's... Uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, the Kawatama Bridge, which is right here, is worth two uh, medals for you guys. So if you can push that far and take the bridge, that's two uh, extra medals for you. They are temporary, though, because they can be taken back. And I think that is it, except for one thing. I do have some supply trucks. Supply trucks are uh, cased. The thing says that I have two. So whenever I have these guys here, this means basically I can move these guys up to a unit that has been depleted somewhat, and I can do resupplies. When resupplies are in effect, this ability, uh, these vehicles can resupply any weakened adjacent friendly units. Figures are exchanged one from one at no metal cost. Unit resupplied cannot gain more figures than it had at the game start, and supply vehicle and resupplied units cannot battle this turn. All right, well, the supply trucks can't battle anyway, but they can move two hexes. Uh, they can move an additional two hexes if they start and end on a road. So instead of getting just plus one move on a road, they get plus two. And I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. And yes, I start with seven cards. You guys start with five. I just saw that. Uh, where is that? Uh, Sajat Seraf. Uh, yes, I do start with uh, seven cards. Um, usually what I found in scenarios like this is that uh, they are... Usually if I have more cards, it means that I'm better supplied for, for one reason or another. And uh, so that's usually what the case is here. All right. Molotov cocktails. If you can see on your board there down at the bottom, you have a hill that has three Molotov cocktail tokens on it. Those are three tokens that you can use throughout the course of this game. Once you use a token, it's gone. Only infantry units can use those tokens and basically in a, in a close assault. And basically when they use it, uh, you have to use it before you roll your dice. And uh, they are simply going to give stars as a, as a possible kill result. All right? So it adds the star face of your dice uh, for positive results for you guys. But you can only use that in three co close assaults throughout the course of this scenario. So you got to pick and choose when you want to use it and uh, when you want to just uh, be, be kind of careful there. All right? I think that is it, I believe. Let's see. Yes. Uh, the Japanese Imperial Army has the first move, so let's go ahead and begin. Uh, have we chosen? Is is Rainer? Is Rainer taking the helm again? My old nemesis. He might be uh, 
Galaga Galaxia? Galaga? Galaga. Galaxia. I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's Rainer. That's his online name in at Twitch. Um I think that's I think that's correct. <laughs> oh good. I can call Sajat Saraf Dave. <laughs> All right, thank you, Dave. All right, debating. Yes, Rain Rainer is Gala Galaxia. So that is correct. <laughs> Kabuki says, he is our voice. We are the Bog. Resistance is futile. <laughs> All right, while they guys while they are <laughs> Jobby, hey you guys! Right. How you doing? We selected our card. All right, card has been selected. Bring it. No, please don't. Don't hurt me. Recon. All right, recon one, plus two on the move. So uh, over here on your left flank, you can order one unit as normal. They can move and fight and, and battle. But then you also have two other units back there, your choice. Uh, and you can just move them, not battle with them. And then, just like a regular recon from the original game, uh, from the original normal decks, you, whenever you're refilling your hand with your command card, you draw two and pick one. All righty. <laughs> we are Jalegion. We are many. Okay, that went to a dark place really quick. Thanks, Kabuki. Um, so we will be playing this for three and a half hours. No, I, I hopefully not. <laughs> I found my thrill on remote Sovo Hill. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Okay, so. Yep, that is true. All right, one, one rule that we missed last time it was brought to my attention in the comments after, after the fact is that sandbags... Um, when there are no flags to ignore, uh, I'm sorry, on, it sa actually says it on the thing. I'll read it. Uh, where, are where are they? Where are they? Here they are. All right. So, it, it, occupant may ignore one flag, does not block line of sight, but it has a little uh, uh, asterisk up here. And when on countryside or beach hex only, well, this is a road hex, so I don't think that matters. Uh, it also uh, negates one battle die. Something we didn't do last turn. Okay. I don't think um, it would have changed anything, but there you have it. Gala, Gala, Galaxia. Rainer, just call him Rainer. <laughs> okay, I'm in trouble with that. What is it, Galaxia? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, he's saying the the move actually can be anywhere on the board. So like the the first part is is can move and attack, but the the other one. Hmm. I, I thought I looked that up and and I thought it was in that thing. Okay, but if if he's sure about that, we'll go we'll go with his interpretation of it. That is fine. Um, but I am going to look it up. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, I can see how he's, he's probably right because it, it doesn't specifically say... Yeah, it does say any section on the battlefield. That is correct. He is right. All right, oh. so we're deciding on the other moves. Oh, here is, oh, you're waiting on the other two moves, yes. the on the moves, yeah. Boos. All right, he wants to move the artillery forward one. Onto the hill, that's. Yes. <sighs> okay. He's actually, he's saying it only moves one artillery. Yes, they can only move. They can move zero and not battle, or one and not battle. Oh, I'm sorry. You can, you can move zero and battle, uh, one. or one and not battle. Yeah. And what's the range on the artillery? Uh, uh, artillery is three three two two one one. Got it. All right. Uh, hey, Jay Peak has joined the conversation. Welcome, Jay. Jobby, welcome. Uh, Dan Manning, I found the campaigns on Scribd. I believe it would happily have to pay the MSRP, but not the jacked up prices on eBay. Yeah, I understand that. It's unfortunate that uh, these aren't being reprinted. 
And it's also unfortunate that people jack up the prices so much on eBay. But that is par partially the consumer's fault because some consumers are willing to pay that much to get them so people can then charge that much for them. So, all right, go ahead. So now these, uh, these inventory move here, now this little, this metal here, does it get, is it like an achievement? It is. So right now it is yours. If, however, it, I take that hill from you, you will lose that. Go ahead and put it on your, your metal track over there. You took the wrong medal. Why did you take the, the Russian Red Star medal and not the Japanese Imperial Navy, uh, Imperial Army medal? He was, was, was out facing upwards. <laughs> well, the other one's facing upwards. Here, let me get it. Oh, shoot. I see. Yeah. Oh, God. I thought that was just a marker, like showing that that's the hill that needs to be. Nope. Okay. Now, now, that simply means okay. is that you're getting that point right now. If I take it back, yours will go back there and mine will come oh, over. Okay, okay, got it. That makes more sense. Okay, so oh now uh, this, uh, the infantry on the, is going to attack the machine gun nest. So I guess it's. Uh, huh? You're, uh, they're gonna, I'm sorry? They're, they're going to attack the machine gun okay, nest. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so you. You get an extra dice, right? Yep. Being, uh, you get an extra die for being full. Uh, let's see, for being full strength. So you're getting four dice, and I am able to actually, let me see. Real quick, I know Jeremy Brannon has said something. When sandbags are present, ignore one retreat, and you are afforded the better of the protection of the sandbags at one or the terrain, if better. All right, so it's a road, so there is no ter terrain protection so we get we ignore when we treat and it's minus one battle die is I think what it is so you get three dice did I do that incorrectly Rainer what do you think since he's on twitch uh, okay, let's, let's see here All right, so let's give me just a moment because it's sound, like I think Rainer thought we were going to have four dice there. Okay. See, I, I didn't know for sure if it, see, the card itself says when on countryside or beach hexes only. What Jeremy said in the YouTube stream is... Um, yeah, we're just slightly more in my favor than what the card says, so I, that's why I'm 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 wanting the clarification. Yeah, Rainer's just trying to figure out is do rows count as countries? Right, that's that's where I that's where I'm thinking here. It says um, units that start its move on a row. No, do not block line of sight. He's except checking the, he's checking the days of wonder. Uh, okay, all right. Sorry for the hiccup, folks. I just want to make sure we do it right. That's all. <laughs> well, <laughs> there is, yeah, but I'd be wanting to do it the other way too, um, because I don't, I just don't want to do it wrong, you know. Uh, but there, there are those little mi minute details that are kind of hard to keep track of. How you actually play the game is really simple, but these little minutia details are uh, what, what are kind of strange. All righty. Uh, I'm gonna try to make you a little bigger on the screen because you're you're really. Huh? Oh, I don't care how big I am. <laughs> hey man, small you can make me the better. Yeah, if anybody does want to help with moves, that is happening in the Twitch uh, stream, which is. Uh, what is it again? Twitch.tv forward slash the dice, the dice Tower. But uh, that is cool. <laughs> All righty. Um, 
Let's see. What are they saying now? All right. He's saying, let's see here. Um, okay. Roads take on protection and properties of the hex. So road in forest counts as forest. So this would count as countryside. Okay. So, so they do get the minus one die. So does he still want to make that advance? Kabuki's giving out the uh, actual URL of the oh, of the Twitch channel, and it, it keeps highlighting, it keeps putting that uh, when it has the dice tower, yeah. it it puts the background orange. Oh yeah, because of the because we because we've done that so that if they ask questions during a game or something like that, they can it'll stand out. He's still good with the move. He's still good with the move. All right, so three dice. Just make sure you get three hits. Uh, I am not making any promises, and I cannot say that I am going to join you in rooting in that direction. So here we go. That was off the table. We'll go ahead and make this roll. Here we go. It is one hit and one retreat, which we will ignore. All right, that was on screen, yeah? Yep. Okay. So there you go. You have killed somebody. Uh, oh, dude, I already made a mistake. Okay, this is what I'm going to do because I, I, I should have cho chosen my card before that move happened. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, R2 just told me I got I to gotta make a choice here. Here, cho choose a card. This is, this is me and my superior Russian choices. All right, so that's the card that was chosen. Let's hope it was a good one. All right, randomly chosen by Kenny. All right, that's fair enough. Recon and force, one unit in each section. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. This is gonna be my unit here. They're going to open fire on that infantry unit that just ran up the road. Uh, another unit is going to, my unit over here is going to be my supply trucks and they move uh, zero to two. So we're gonna go one, two like that. And then over here, uh, We're going to just move up here to start fording the Halha River with that tank regimen. Okay, so I did one over here, one here, and one over there. I've got those dug-in troops. They're just going to give me three dice against those guys, but stars also hit on this roll. So that's two hits and a retreat, but you must mm -hmm. ignore the, re the, the retreat, yeah. And the reason they have to ignore the retreat is because of the Japanese uh, Imperial Army rules where um, they, uh, it's right here, infantry must always ignore one flag. All right, so that is the recon in force. I'll draw a card and let's see. Ooh, I like, I like, me likey. Me likey that. So we're going to use it. All right, you guys are up. Okay. Yes, Kabuki, I forgot to chip a card. I had Kenny choose my first one randomly uh, to make up for that. I have chipped a card for my second turn, though. So I apologize, but I think having to do a random card chosen by my enemy <laughs> is more than sufficient. Oh, let me go ahead and silence my phone here so that R2 doesn't... Uh, 
give us any more lip. Okay. You got it? Attack. Ooh, attack. Three in the middle and one on the move. Okay. Three in the middle and one on the move. All right. So that is it. B2 to B4. <laughs> I wish it were that easy. <laughs> Alrighty here. All right. Three in the middle. Yeah, that's not good. Plus one on the move. Oh, wow. I know what I would do. No, I know exactly what I would do. <laughs> I'm not going to say, though. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, for sure the, um, the infantry by the, uh, the nest, machine gun nest will get activated. Okay. Are they going to move? I think I'm just going to stay there. Because sure. they don't get their extra die for being full strength this time. Yeah. But if they have to, if they, uh, and they they're... Have well, if they go up to the hill, then they are still going to be... Um, they're still going to be getting... No, I guess they would get uh, regular. Yeah, because I don't think that hill is considered a countryside. Although it might be. It might be considered countryside, but I it, maybe not. I have no idea. I don't think I, I would say it isn't. But again, I was going to say that the road didn't wasn't either, but we found out that it was. Uh. <laughs> Dave says basically somebody randomly deciding strategy is a very good metaphor to describe Soviet high command in the first stages of the war. <laughs> so I'm not going to play the whole game like that though. I'm t I apologize. We're just going to we're going to follow the rules from now on. I got to stop messing with these dice. Cuz I know you guys are probably already talking about that in your heads. It, it'll stay countryside just because it's based on where you're at, not where we're at. So Huh? The, uh, the minus one die is based on where you're at, not on where we... Well, I know, but that's a hill, too. You would be hill to hill. Oh, you mean if we attacked those? Right, 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 right. Got it. So if you went up to the hill and attacked, yeah. you um, would still be normal, which means you would get three dice, mm -hmm. but I don't know if the sandbags take away one of those dice. Uh... Let me see here. I can probably ask. We'll see here. The unit next to the forest is going to move two up onto the hill. The unit next to the forest? Oh, no, no. The next to the oh, forest. Oh, got it, yeah. Going to move two up onto the hill. Okay. And then the third one is uh, probably going to be artillery. No, it says it right here, yeah. It says it would be more correct to change the text to the original text from the M44 rulebook. When, in a unit, when a unit does not benefit from any protection for its terrain, the sandbags reduce the number of battle dice rolled by one when attacked by infantry or armor. So that, the whole, because the whole thing is when the card says on countryside or beach hexes, but the website is actually saying 
the better wording is that the sandbags give protection if the terrain doesn't give protection. So yeah, they would be battling at minus one. All righty. Hopefully that'll be the, the last bit of true rules looking upping we're going to be doing. All right, so All we've right. got so we've got yeah. two units so far. Yeah, that's a fine, and, and the artillery to me. Oh, the artillery's gonna shoot, okay. And, and then what's the on the move unit? Yeah, there he's, he's gonna tell me right now. Okay. Have a good time, Juby. Thanks for joining us. Oh, they're Molotoving. Okay, and then, then the third unit is back there, and then they're on the move, which which is their on the move one? Okay, they're gonna move the uh, armored car. He can move how many spaces? Uh, he has to move around his, his uh, infantry. He can't move through them. Uh, they, uh, armored cars can move zero to four and battle. Okay, well, but he can't because this is on the move. I'm assuming with there. I'm not sure if they're gonna. Okay, take the flag with them. Oh, the flag with oh yes, we know. We, yeah, we we know it. We know it's a Japanese armored car. Let me just double check that. Okay, left, four, four. Okay. Yeah, they're fine with that movement. Right? That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the uh, Molotovs, and uh, they are getting three dice now with minus one. Now yeah, they have to attack with those first, or could they use the artillery? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Uh, artillery is going to be three, three, two, two, one. It's going to be one die if from the artillery here. It, I'm assuming that's where it's going to go because it's three, three, two, two, one. If it was the one to, to, to the right of that, would it be the same, right? I'm sorry? If it was here? Yeah, yeah it would be the same. Okay, the infantry first. Infantry first? Okay, so two dice, but um, what was it? Uh... Where is it? I forget which which die is adding to it. Um, star rolls. Okay, so stars also count. So you're looking for infantry symbols, grenades, or stars. And two infantry. And that's done away with. And then your artillery next is what you're saying? Uh. Yeah, close the next. I imagine it's going to be the same. Same next. Yeah, I'll the same next. Okay, so one die. And that's a miss. Okay. Um, All right. And then those guys move two and cannot battle because they didn't get into close assault. All right, so that is that. So far, the line is holding. Ah. Uh, all right, here we go. Here's where the fun starts. I'm doing assault, all units on the left flank. So that's everybody over here. <laughs> so hopefully this works. All right, here we go. Um, we're going to Um, we can only, regular tank units can only move two in battle. So we're going to move one up here like that. And then we're going to go one, two, like this. And then these guys are just going to go up as well. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Armored car can go four in battle, but we won't. We're just going to go two. And then cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry can move zero to three in battle. So we're going to go one, two, three. And these guys are going to go two, two, 
one, two. These guys are going to go one, two, three, four. And um, the big gun will also take a shot as well, I think. Big gun can shoot three, three, two, two, one, 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 three, three, two, two, one, one. Oh, wait, let me see. Did I miss? One, two, three, three, two, two, one, one, one. So we do get it. <laughs> All right, so we'll do the uh, we'll do the big gun first. Big gun is just using, looking for grenades and um, infantry. So that's one hit on that guy up on the hill. Hmm. The armor. Okay, thank you. The armor that's on the outside okay. is going to take a shot in. Yep. So that is uh, hills give a minus one, I believe, for tanks. So that's only two dice. That's a retreat, which you have to ignore. And the one that's right in front of you okay. are, that's one hit. Okay, and these guys back here have line of sight, so we're going to go ahead and shoot with them as well. That's three, 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 minus one, two. Oh man, nothing, 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 nothing. All right, well, that wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Most definitely not as good. Now, these don't have line of sight because the tanks are Correct. Um, they, could, they have line of sight to those, to, through, the, through the passage right there between those two hills, but they don't have range. Hmm. Yeah. This will be the one we play for next turn. You're up. Do your worst. Let's see here. Sorry for the question. On eBay, I found on sale Memoir 440 War Campaign Book, Volume 1. It's rare, but good. It is rare. Uh, depends on how much you like uh, Memoir 44. Uh, Matsiek, I, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, I'm sorry. Um, but if you can find a campaign book, volume one, especially volume one, I think that one is deeply out of print. Uh, it is very rare. And if you enjoy campaign style, uh, where much like what we're doing here, where in between the two scenarios, we are um, making rolls to determine, you know, different kinds of logistical losses, different kinds of casualties lost in between the battles, you know, that type of stuff. Uh, if you like that style, um, where you're playing a whole bunch of campaigns to determine an ultimate winner, then, then yeah, the campaign book is something that you would really want to pick up because that's basically what it does. But you can use it for uh, a number of different things. But, um, yeah, what Dave said there is, if it's stupid expensive, to use his words, um, you might want to double double think it. All right, so they did an assault. Everybody in the middle? Yes. But we're now, now we're waiting on who who else is going to be moving. Yep. All right. Oh, man. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Not a whole lot of talking going on in chat right now, of course. Not a whole... I mean, there's a good number of people watching, but... Uh, Chat is not as active as it usually is. You guys must be eating or something. 
because I guess it is lunchtime in most parts of the world, or no, not most parts of the world, most parts of America. Eighty pounds and still growing. Yeah, I'm sorry, eighty euros. Yeah, that that's a lot more than I would want to pay for it. That's for sure. Um, because in essence, you're just getting a book. But I mean, uh, I I can't say pull the trigger on that one. I cannot say that at all. Uh, it, it really has to come down to uh, how much you enjoy playing memoir and whether or not you think you're really going to enjoy playing it with the campaign book. Now this move from here to here. Yeah, that's fine. Just go ahead and move. I I, I trust you. I don't. No, I think there's any, uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, those two units back there. Yeah. Ugh. That last unit, unless it moves up to the hill, is only going to be able to move one. It could move up to the hill and then into the forest, but if you move along the river, as soon as you move without one, you'll have to stop. But, man, there's so many infantry. Nope, can't do that. Oh. Because of the river. Once they move the one hex into the river space, they, they have to stay there. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, unit entering a fordable stream must stop. You may still take ground, no combat restrictions, does not block line of sight. So as long as you're in the stream, you're, you can only move one per. But if you were to move out, you'd be able to move two, which is why I said you could move up to the hill and then into the forest. All right, so we're good there. <clears throat> Let me see the order of attacks. I'm sorry? Oh, oh order of attacks, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you don't have to attack. I mean, it's not, it's not, I mean, why, why be so warring? They just come up and say hi. Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the infantry by the machine gun nest with no Molotov, so... Okay, so they're going to get uh, two dice because it's three normally minus one for the sandbags, which is more than enough. There's only one infantry guy standing there. It's a retreat. We will ignore it. I imagine these guys are next. Yep. Uh, gets the sandbag on adjacent hill. They don't want to go for the um, machine gun? Nope. They don't want to change it? Yeah, yeah, infantry on hill against sandbag on adjacent hill. Okay, that will be three dice because they are full strength, so they're getting four dice, but the sandbags is minus one. <clears throat> are they sure they're not going against the, the uh, machine gun nest? Okay. I just want to make sure. It just seems like that's a flag. Uh, I mean, it, that's a that's a point just sitting there. But I mean, if hey, I'm I'm good. <laughs> All right. Let's um. Let's use your artillery now against. The, okay. Uh, the okay. All right. So that's again going to be just one die, <clears throat> and it's a miss. So now we're back to three dice mm -hmm. with the guys on the hill. Let's see. Let me just double check the. Do 
was hoping for one death there. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you, guys, yeah, I kill machine gun dude. <laughs> you hope. Yeah. All right, three dice on the machine gun nest. Uh, yeah, because it would be four minus one. Yeah. Yeah, you got him. Right. There you go. And sandbags go away. All right, we still have the armored car. Yep. Armored car is considered tank unit, so they're going to be battling uh, at minus one on either of those either of those units, and they're going to be battling with three dice, so they're going to get two right. dice on either one of those units. One off the hill. Off the hill. Yeah. Okay. So this unit right here. Um, Reroll this one. That's one retreat. We're going to ignore it. Um, I think these guys out here have. Oh, wait, they moved too, didn't they? What about those guys that are on the hill? Did they move too? Well, they moved out of the river, didn't they? They moved this one, and then we moved. So that one moved two, and that one yeah, only moved one. one. Here, and then the one that was here went two. Okay, so they can't battle. These guys moved two, so they can't battle as well. So yeah, that's it. <sighs> All right. Wow. 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 Okay, we're going to go, <laughs> getting ahead of myself here. Um, I got lucky and got another all on the left. So um, we're going to go one, two up here. These guys are just going to shoot there. These guys are going to go one, two. These guys are going to go one, two. These guys are going to go um, one, two, and then <clears throat> armored car is going to go one, two, three, these guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, these, these are the flamethrower guys. Those guys were not. And then Cav can go three. So the cavalry is going to come out here like this. These guys will go to here, to here. And then two, three. And we'll keep them three here. And then no, three there, one, two, like that. And then we are going to fire the big gun here. Now, I scored a hit on those guys last time. This should have been placed on that hill. That's important because now they're going to get an extra die rolled on them because they stayed there. So that's going to be two dice. Oh, you know what? First, I'm going to do my armor first. So armor first, the guys that are right in the middle. These right here? Yeah. These. Yes. So two dice against those guys on the hill because it would be three, but minus one for the hill. That's two hits. That's good. All right. They will, this goes away. They will take ground. We lose the. Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I've got to get you off that entire ridge. 
You, you still have these guys here, so I don't get it yet. Now they get to attack again? Yes. Um, and we're going to attack these guys down here. Um, and that is three dice now. It's two hits down there. All righty. And then we're going to do these guys attack over here. That is also three dice. That's two dead. You're going to move into the spot? Yes. And we will take... Um, then we have to do armor overrun. We will attack up the hill. Two dice. It's, you have to ignore the retreat, but you get the hit. And then, um, me flamethrower tanks. Uh, oh, that's in the book. Sorry. All right. Um, they get. Uh, oh, terrain battle dice is restricted to one in combat in close assault. So they're only getting one because of the hill, so that's it. So they just get still just two dice. Hmm. Yeah, that's still good. You know what? No. I want to do the uh, armored car. He's going to roll three, two. So armored car against this unit here? Nah, nah, here. That's two hits. And then these guys now up there. Got it. Wow. And then these guys come up, take the ground. Oh, don't forget to take one more. Oh, gee whiz. My little thing, my big, big old fingers here. You take a trophy? Yeah, yeah. And then they're going to attack down. They're going to attack down, and they get three dice. So it's one hit. You have to ignore the retreat. All right. So this guy already attacked, but now these guys can attack, and they get two dice up the hill. Um, but first, let's go ahead and target with the... Uh, let me see here. Yeah. Yep, just up the hill. One hit, one retreat. So just one hit. And now we're going to do these guys right here, this armor. I'm sorry, that uh, big gun. We're going to take a shot at the uh, infantry on the road over here. Yeah. You want to reroll that? It's up to you guys. <laughs> make the decision. I'm letting you guys make the decision. Yeah, they don't get a good angle, though. It's a cock dice, but. You want to reroll it? Your decision then. I'd say let's reroll it. Okay. It was only quite a 45, but. Okay. It's a hit. All right. How to show? How to show? Um, okay, now I get this as a flag. And that goes back, yeah. All righty then. Oh, yeah. There we go. And that is it. That was a very good turn. Much better than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be nasty, but that was truly nasty. All right. So while they are...
Still talking about digital PF PDFs? Come on, payball. <laughs> Now, what would be really cool if they could get the campaign book and, and load it onto an iPad? And then if they could, because some of these scenarios, you have to write things in the book to keep track for the next scenario and that type of stuff. If you, if you could, like, manipulate that PDF inside the, the book, the digit, that would be cool. But these are when you're sold in digital. They do. They do. Okay. Yeah. Right. You, you can download it. It's just that usually, you know, people can... People will go and print it out and then keep it in a binder, which is fine. But if you can keep it on an iPad or something like that, that would be pretty cool, I think. Uh, let's see here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Kabuki, you're right. Um, Reroll, yeah. Howdy, folks. Just in time for the... Oh, wow. Come on. Uh, yeah, you probably could share some more colorful Russian phrases with us, but please don't, uh, for those who would understand. All right, two in the middle and two on the move. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> These were the guys that had the flamethrowers, right, Kenny? Um, yes. They came up here? Yeah, okay. Just got to remember where those are. All right, so we're going to have the, uh, the infantry on, on, the, on the hill attack the adjacent infantry on the hill. Okay, yeah. Uh, so that's one. The armored car against those off the hill. Off the hill, okay. Um, well, you don't, have to de you don't have to declare who's battling where. You don't have to say where they're going, but those are the two units that you're... Yeah, those are the two that we're going to Okay. And then who are the on-the-move guys? Or groups, rather. I actually took Russian for one semester in college. Only one semester, I, and I didn't. I didn't learn enough to retain any of it because I never used it either, uh, and I never made the, uh, the the the. I don't. I don't know. I just never took the initiative to continue to try to use it. I know you're really good at that. You you try to use your Chinese whenever you can. Yeah. So uh, I never did though. But I, the only phrase that I remember is is this one, and it shows you about when I I learned to speak. Uh, a little bit of Russian, but this is the only thing I remember from my entire semester at, uh, of taking Russian. Bill Clinton at the Ocean Proha Americanski President. So I don't know, Dave, do you, did you understand that? Was that any good at all? Um, I also remember Shaibu, Shaibu, because that's what you apparently shoot, uh, shout at uh, soccer matches and hockey games, which means shoot. How about food items? Food? I, no, I don't. I don't remember any food. I, if that's the one thing that I usually remember. Like Korean food, I can, I can, I can order fine from just a Korean menu. But borscht is the, the soup. yeah, I guess yeah, borscht is the soup. Yeah. Can the tanks cross the river, or do they have to backtrack to the bridge? Uh, all of the streams in this uh, scenario are fordable, which means that they they don't need a bridge to go across. Um, so, uh, yes, they can, but they have to stop, and then the next time they move, they can continue moving. That was for you, Dutch Yoda. And those guys can move three. Do they move three? Yes, they do. Okay. Uh, how are they doing that? In the, oh, those are the two on the moves? Yeah, oh, doo-doo. Okay, that's it. That's it. So what were your three in the middle? Oh, I'm sorry. It was just two in the middle. It was two in the middle. Okay, so these guys are attacking here first? Yep. All right. So that's going to be uh, 
They are full strength, so they get an extra die, which is four, minus one for the sandbags, which takes it down to three. It's two hits. Ouch. That's what was ruled. Yeah, you might want to see if that armored car wants to try to take that other unit out. Um, the armored car is rolling three dice, minus one. Uh, yeah, it's minus one because the sandbags and the hill okay. don't We're accumulate. Them, they, they we, we might yeah, right. You could possibly take them out. All right. So that's two for the armored car against the guys on the hill. You got it. Well done, Rainer. And they can take ground if they want. Uh, matter of fact, you might even be able to uh, perform overrun. You can. So you can take ground and attack again. I'm assuming that's what they want to do. I'm pretty sure. And that would give you uh, that would give you three dice against that, that group down there. I think we're gonna do that though. Huh? I'm pretty sure he says definitely we're gonna overrun. So I imagine we're going to Yeah, there's no reason okay, for you not so to. All right, three dice downstairs. Ow, golly. <laughs> Guess I'm rolling good for, for everybody involved right now. Ouch. All right, well, that's, that didn't feel good. Um, you got the one metal, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so this is the card I have to play, and it is three in the middle and one on the move. Um, uh, Standard units, it's just three hexes away, right? Three, two, one. Yes, I don't have a line of sight. Hmm. Alrighty then. All right, so we're gonna go. Hmm. Oh man, that stupid armored car. All right, here we go. Um, this guy is going to attack up here. Let's be two dice. The big gun's going to shoot. I don't know exactly where just yet. And, um, oh, I got those guys over there. Ooh. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's see. Oh, I forgot those two. See, I forgot these two units were technically in my middle flank as well. I mean, my middle center battlefield as well. Could use them. And we will. <clears throat> These guys are going to move up to the hill.
they're going to battle there. <clears throat> then, these guys, nobody else is moving, so I'm just going to go ahead and start attacking. Uh, I'm going to do attack here. Uh, three, three, two, two, one, one. Come on. Yes. That's this guy. Um, now, these guys. All right, so if I try to take out that armored car, rerolls. If a grenade it kills confirmed, otherwise rerolls are ignored. If I attack him with the anti-tank gun unit, which is these guys right here, I can hit on stars and tanks, which is only a two out of six. That's better than two dice with one out of six, though. Hmm. <clears throat> yep. That's what I'm gonna do. These guys here are gonna shoot at this guy here. They're same level, so there's no restriction in battle dice. And it's three, two dice, and uh, armor, tank symbols, and stars hit. And I rolled two infantry. Yep. That's what I thought. That's how the cookie crumbles. Um, and that's that. No, sorry. Got to get these guys down here. Didn't, didn't, I moved them. I didn't roll, roll to see if they hit. All right, so three. Come on, three infantry symbols. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Or just one infantry symbol. Why couldn't I roll that last time? <laughs> All right. That's it for me. Sorry that took so long. I'm feeling the pressure here. Oh, dude, man, do I want to use that? Let me see. Okay, sorry for all the dead air, folks. I am just having a, a very difficult decision to make here. Um, so I'm just going to go with my gut and go with that one. And you're up. Sorry. Okay, uh, score is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six to two. That is correct. Kabuki Kid is, is right on the money. What's the movement of those tanks up there? Uh, they can move three and battle. Uh, on the road, they can move four and battle. But they, like this unit right now, can move four and battle. These two can only move three and battle. Because yeah, they're, they they're not on the road, right? Oh. 
Okay, we're only we're about only about an uh, an hour into the stream. That's not actually bad, I think. Um, this is where the the rubber kind of meets the road, though. Uh, we're going up to what is the uh, points you need to win? Ten. I'm four away from winning. You guys are eight away from winning. But as the dice have told us in the past, all that can change. Two of my medals are uh, temporary medals, so they can be taken away from me. That's super hard to get. <laughs> well, that one's going to be super hard to get, yeah. But this, these, this one over here, not so much. Yeah, where exactly is that? It's this, this little outcropping of hills right here. Jeremy, that's funny. Jeremy says, not sure what Russian is for Blitzkrieg, but the Russians in those tanks were yelling it a lot. Uh, that is possibly true. Um, I mean, part of that is just going with the cards that you're dealt. Uh, but, yeah. Who we got here? Oh, that's interesting. Blitzkrieg would sound the same. It's just spelled in Cyrillic. I don't know if Dave is being just funny, but that would that's just transliteration, so uh, Korean does that a lot for English words. Uh, so that's interesting, though, if he's not trolling. <laughs> All right, come on. Do your damage. Let's see what you got. Three on the side. All right, three on. That's three on the left. And then one on the move. One, two, three, okay. That's the one on the move. Oh, sorry. It's the left. Uh, okay. Wait. <coughs> Let me just double check that space, make sure. Mm-hmm. Artillery against the uh, single infantry guy. So okay. That would be three, th let's see, three, three, two, two, one. One, one. So that's one die against him. So that would be one, two, and three. And the armor car. Armor car is going to be the mover? Yeah. Um, one back there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Make sure it's not this one. Yeah, let me just double check that. Be and the reason I say that is because I hope they, they aren't thinking they can take the bridge. Because the only way they can move onto the bridge is, is on the road. They would not be able to move this way. Got it. I'm pretty sure it's one in the back, but... Okay. Rainer probably knows that, so I would imagine it is. Right, well, he responds to me. Let me... He can move up to what, three or four? Uh, on the road, he can move five because he could normally move zero to four, and you get plus one if you start and end on the road. Yeah, the one in the rear. Okay. All right, very good. Um, he doesn't have any uh, 
targets of opportunity though, so he won't be battling. These guys can battle, and these guys can battle. If he moved here, would he have an opportunity? Uh, on these people, yes. Well, he's on the move anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, right, right. Well, All right, spot, so yeah. it's one, two, and three. Okay. Yeah, he's the one that was on the move. Yeah, never mind. That was okay. a dumb thing. All right, so uh, I'm assuming they want to do the uh, artillery first or not. Yeah, sure. Yeah, artillery first. Okay. All right, so that's just one die against the uh, infantry unit over here. Come on, hold in, guy. No. Nah. There you go. Wilhelm scream. Uh, and I'm assuming tanks, which way are they attacking? I'm guessing they're going to be non-sandbag tanks. Non sandbag. It's still minus one either way. Oh, okay. Because uh, both these don't stack. They just get the better of Got the it. two, and they're both the same. So it's it's uh, the hills give minus one. So the sandbags technically don't give a minus one. Well, he says the left hill. So this one yeah, left yeah, to them. All right. right. So it's still three dice minus one is two. Looking for infantry symbols. And I have to retreat. So one hit and a retreat, which means you can take ground. Yeah, I know what he's going to say. Yeah, you already yeah. said take ground. And then probably attack again, right? Yeah. I'm On to attack probably the, the same unit. The same unit? Well, let me just double check. Uh, they are out in the middle of nowhere. For being up the hill, do they get an extra die for them? No. Okay. Uh, they just, it'll still be the same because of the sandbags. It'll still be minus one. Normally, if the sandbags, sand, <laughs> sandbags, sandbag, if the sandbags weren't there, they would get uh, no restriction because it's evil. Uh, it's even terrain. All right, they're gonna attack the same unit again. Same unit. Okay, so now it's three dice because they're attacking off the hill. So this is this could be nasty. Uh, it's two hits. I'll go ahead and say that's true. All right, um, that stinks. And then these guys back here, uh, the TKs, the Type 97s are battling at three dice and there's no terrain restrictions. So there we go. Whoa, two hits. Yes. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. That not nice. That not nice people. Okay, well, here we go. And you guys were wondering about my favorite card, and it came up. Armor Assault. Again, issue an order to four armor units, and units in close assaults roll one additional die. Terrain movement and restrictions still apply. Uh, so there you have it. Um, four armored units. One of them is going to be this one. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four. All right, so these guys, these guys, those guys, and those guys. All right, um, so these guys first, so that's three dice. You got your type 97s. Uh, 
Uh, I'm sorry, extra die. Close assault, so that's four dice. Of course. You do have one retreat, though. I'm, not, I'm assuming that's going to, but I'm not really sure. Well, they can either go here or here. Yeah. So it's one of the two. I'm still going to take ground and attack again. And that's two hits. Um, then we've got the guys that are on the hill against the people that are on the same ridge there, and it's four dice. One hit. No, no hits. Oh, man, I wish that was my... Oh, that was a good flamethrower tank roll. Um, okay, so that was a big nada. So now we're going to go with the uh, flamethrower tanks down here with the guys in the... Uh, in the river. So we got four dice, and uh, stars are counting as hits on this one. No, I'm sorry. Oh, there's just no negation. All right, so anyway, it's just four dice, regular dice. All right, so that's, that's two retreats, but you, you must ignore one of them, so you have to retreat one. Then Wait, separate, I just moved the whole unit there, right? I don't, huh? I, don't, I removed the whole unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just means that's one hex that you have to retreat back. Let me just double check and see, make sure they want to go in the forest. Okay. Go onto the hill. Okay. Onto the hill, okay. Well, we're going to take ground and then um, attack here instead. It's three hits. Yep. And then uh, these guys back here. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I think. Uh, Rainer, I need your input here and anybody else in YouTube as well. I think my tanks. Because this is the last unit that I ordered. I moved them from there to there. I think they have line of sight on the, on the unit that is on the hill across the way. I don't think the tanks block line of sight because they're lower than the tanks that are on the hill. So let me know if, if I am interpreting that correctly. I think I am. I don't think my tanks block line of sight in this in in, in this case. Do you think the Euclid's are right? Huh? The Euclid's are right. Okay. All right. So I get three dice. I just don't know if I was premature in moving them to the hill because he said onto hill, and then he said or forest. <laughs> oh well, then if they want to move to the forest, move to the I forest. Just, let me just double check. Cause, okay. Because as soon as I saw onto hill, I moved it, and then I still look here and he says or forest. He was, maybe he was asking people. Oh, that's fine. If they want to change it, that's fine too. That just means that uh, that that. I just don't know why he moved to the hill instead of the forest. It didn't make sense to me. But. Well, um, the forest. I don't know. The forest. You're on the run there, and so if you have tons of tanks in front of them. I, don't, I just don't see. True, but at, at this point, both terrain would give you the same level of protection. Because you're getting, um, except for when you move into the forests, uh, well, that's true. If move, tanks shooting into a forest, it's minus two. Tanks shooting onto the hill, it's only minus one. So. And then I got the, the line of sight also from your other units. Yes, yeah, that is true. But here's another thing. Those flamethrower tanks, they only suffer one battle die restriction ever oh, got it. with infantry. So being in the forest... With those guys right next to you, isn't that okay. isn't well, that I good of a thing? Okay, that's fine. All right, so that negates that last tank uh, unit over there. We already did this guy. 
We did those guys and then those two over there. So, okay, that is that. Um, that comes over there. Um, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Hmm. All right. Um, okay. He says that the tank could still attack the other hill. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that roll then. I was too focused. Good sportsmanship, Rainer. Two hits. Oh, wow. Oh, now you almost went. Oh. Um. Okay, so, right. so now here's the thing. At the start of my next turn, if you can't get onto this side of the Halha River, I win. Because I'm, I'm going to get a temporary, I'm going to get a temporary um, star, which star, which gives me the win. If you guys can't get a unit over past the Halha River, Allied. Let me just reread it again. The Allied player gains a temporary medal objective at turn start, worth one medal, if the Axis player does not have at least one Axis unit on their right side of the Halha River at the start of the Allies player's turn. Okay. I think this is, uh, this is talking about because on the western side of the river, the, the Russians really took it to them and uh, the Soviet forces rather really took it to them and, um, and drove them back. On the left side or on the east side of the river, is where the battle raged for three days, which is in the historical background here. So that's, I think, why that rule is in effect. So basically, they, uh, this is the only unit they could reach over here, right? Because he could go one. Not, not even with the river there. He would have to go to... He would have to go oh, to, to stop at the river, right? Yeah, he would have to go to the uh, to the hill and then onto the river. And I, I, I would imagine that would that would be enough to keep the game going if that guy can get around to the back and be on the river. Um, although it does say on the oh, right side of the Halha River, but I would. That's being both for out left and right when you're on, on the line, right? Yeah, I think so. But I mean. Uh, Okay. Play that general, yeah. Two, all right, two in each. Ouch. Well. Oh, you know what? That you could take another medal. You no, know, I, I'm, I spoke too soon. You could take another. You could take a temporary medal from me right now. You could do that. You could take this temporary medal away from me, the one that I started the game with. Mm -hmm. So it's possible, especially with those two tank regiments sticking right there. Okay. Right here, so. So he's gonna figure out the yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Danny, uh, Danny, you asked if, if these cards, the breakthrough cards, are part of this campaign pack, and they are not. Uh, there, there is an actual breakthrough expansion um, that I don't know the availability of um, that in, in which they came. So you'd have to buy that in order to have these. You don't have to have the breakthrough cards to play with breakthrough maps. You don't have to do that. But uh, they, they say that it's better to do that because the maps are larger. Uh, it, it's just, the, it provides that extra movement that's going on behind the battle lines. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Cards come with Winter Wars. Huh. The breakthrough comes with Winter Wars. Hmm. Didn't know that. All 
Ah, breakthrough maps came in a separate pack, but the breakthrough cards came after that, I would imagine. All right, what's the damage? All right, I'm just trying to see where this armored car. Okay, the armored car on the road is even close to sell tanks on the right. <laughs> Three spaces. What's that? Um, armored car on road, close he, assault tanks on the right. On close assault. Oh, okay. So I guess he's saying move these guys over here. Oh. And attack those oh, okay, guys. Okay, got it. He's moving all the way there. Okay. One, two, three, and then attack those tanks there. Yeah. So that would be. Armored car. Those are the two left. So basically, this one's going to attack this. Um, that unit is going to attack that one. Okay. Now you need two units from the middle. And then armor cars are gonna, it's going to be assault, close assault to the big gun. Really? So I guess it's going to walk down. Okay. All right. Could he move four? No, he can't. He can only move three because he's on the road, right? Correct. No, wait. Armor, four, armor battle can move. F armor cars can move four normally, and still battle. Would the river stop him though? Yes. Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter. I'm wondering. He could also go here, and I know he'll get less dice, but he'll be on the on the right flank then. If that's you know to prevent you from getting star, but I don't think that's going to matter if we. Well. It might. <laughs> Dave, that's a, depending on what he's selling his entire collection for, that's pretty good, that's a pretty good uh, buy. Uh, two base sets and maybe six expansions, that's pretty good. Of course, uh, he ended up with some duplicates and sold that off. Oh, okay, so you took that deal. That's good. Sam, did you see the Hexcom map the Dutch M M44 Brigade made? No, I didn't. Uh, you can play with three or six people. Wow. Wow, a hex map. That's interesting. He's going to go there instead. Okay. All right. I'm assuming these tanks are going to assault here. Yeah, I'm just one. He hasn't told me the last. So if you push, if you push that infantry unit off that hill, uh, that's another uh, point for you this turn as well, and it would keep me from winning at the beginning of my next turn. There's still one more. Oh, you still have... Oh, you don't have anybody over here. Yeah, wow. What he hasn't done is we haven't got a unit to the right flank. Yeah. So if we don't do that, you're, you're, you're going to win. Right. Unless, we take Unless you move me off here. Right. Tanks on road, three spaces onto river bend. What's that? Tanks on road, three spaces to river bend. One, two, three. That'd be four, right? Well, that would be four, right? But I'm I'm curious why he would do that though. Yeah, I he, feel like he has to get a unit somewhere on, along this line. Yeah, he needs he needs you, you definitely need to do that, and you could with this guy. You could get him here with no problem. That would satisfy. Um, I think, at least, that um, that requirement. But with two tank units here, tag teaming this infantry unit, that's probably what I would want to do. But I mean, again, Rainer's got to play his own game, so he's got to go with his logic, and he's got the hive mind of Twitch behind him too. So. Um, they can do whatever they want. Let's see here. Huh, that's interesting. So 
Uh, Dave is saying that uh, it's really, really, really difficult to get memoir stuff in Europe unless you're in the UK, France, or Germany. That's interesting. I wonder why that is, though. Um, it must just be distribution lines of Days of Wonder and Asthma Day. That must be what it is. But, um, hmm, that's, that's still an interesting conundrum there. Oh, wait, did I choose my card for next turn? Oh, yeah. Dang it. I'm sitting here being stupid. Um, oh, poop. Man, here you already yes you already started moving stuff around so I can't I can't do this again that's according to our man in in the YouTube chat he he has said this is still thematic this is still basically the same thing all right pick pick me a card do well all right I won't even look at it yet. All right. Those three things should be one space above the lower armored car. Oh, but I know what it is. <clears throat> huh? I think he wants to move. Let's see. I'm going to double check this. I'm not sure. I think he's hoping for an overrun. Uh, overrun. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's absolutely, and it's that's not bad. I mean, he has that he has that possibility both here and here. So. Okay, those are the ones that see who he attacks first. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Any hope for a re-release of Eastern Front expansion? Not that I have heard of. Uh, Tanner. Um, there is very little. The only rumblings that I've heard is, is a redoing of the air pack. Uh, that's the only thing that I've heard of. So uh, I do not know. All right, first it takes on the left hill against infantry. All right, these guys here against infantry back here or infantry up here. This will more than likely get you another thing and then you can assault again. That's the temporary star, right? Well, here's the thing. Um, I believe these hills are the temporary stars. So as long as both of us are up there, um, I don't get anything yet. But if he takes out that one unit on the bottom, he could do another attack after that. Correct. So that makes sense for him to do that. And you know what? Now that I think about it, they might, might can either confirm or deny. I might lose since you are also on the hill. Let's see. Okay, we are going to attack the ones at the bottom first. Okay. He's from temporary soul control last. Last to occupy. Okay, last to occupy, I think, is is I'm still occupying it, so I'm still I still have it. Okay. I think. They can let me know if I'm I'm interpreting that wrong. Let's see, we get that one guy. All right, down here. Um Yes. So that's that. And I'm assuming you're going yeah. to take ground and then battle again. Yes. Up the hill, which is going to be two dice. And really, you're looking for uh, two retreats would probably be the best thing for you to roll right now. I'm going to ignore the one and take this, though. Okay. Next, we're going to go with the uh, heavy gun. All right, so the armored tank is going to be getting three dice, minus one for the hill, so two. And they they can only hit on a, on a uh, grenade. Okay. There you go. There's that. Well, he's going to overrun there for sure. Yeah. All right, so that definitely negates the uh, the auto win next turn. The Molotovs can only be used with 
Infantry. Infantry, okay. All right, so tanks or armored car first on the tanks? Now, that armored car that went up on the hill, it doesn't have any kind of range on anything there? Um, the only thing I can think of is possibly here, but the... And I don't think the bridge blocks line of sight either, so... Uh, let me double check. Where's the train? There it is. It's under my computer. Uh, do not block line of sight unless otherwise stated. So um, he has uh, three, two, one. So three, two, one. You got one die right here if you want to take it. There's no reason not to. Right. <laughs> oh, I mean, if you just want to be nice, yeah. that's a miss. Okay. And then tanks or armored car first? No tanks. Tanks? All right, so that's three dice, minus one for the hill, so two. One hit. Oh, okay. And then armored car, probably. Well, that's in left, right? Yep. So he's also going to get two dice as well, because he's going up the hill. Two retreats. Interesting. Ripper or you want to straddle the line? Well, I have to, I ha uh, interesting. I think I have to lose an extra tank here because I have to retreat toward my edge. So I have to retreat here or here. I can't retreat here because I got a unit there. So I have to retreat here. And now I have another flag that I have to uh, go for, but I don't think I can move anymore because I've gone into the fordable streams. Unit entering fordable stream must stop. Um, but what about retreating? Does it ignore battle um, yeah, it says, uh, terrain restrictions? Yep. That's that. That's what I thought. And the armor car can take ground and battle again. It being here or here for range, does it make a difference for against these guys? Or just, um, just determines the, well, frankly, no, no. Well, I'll be able to take three dice on that one, but it would only be two dice if it was one, one hex further away. But you can attack again right now yeah. and go after that tank. Which is what they should do. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get three dice against that thing. And he, he could overrun again, right? No, you yeah. can only overrun once. But I mean, this is another yeah, metal, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, let's do it. It's like no reason not to. <laughs> oh, man, he got it. There you go. That's the way it works. I think that's, um, yeah, that's everyone. That was a devastating turn. That was really good. Um, uh, okay. You actually chose the card that I would have played for myself, but thank you. Infantry Assault. So I can issue an order to all infantry units in one section. Units may move up to two hexes and still battle. Move three hexes and not battle. Um, terrain movement and battle restrictions still apply. Uh, so, it's going to be our center. Our center is going to be the the, the thing Madugi Hopper, so we're going to go one two and battle there. That goes away. Um, Hmm. 
these guys are going to go one, two, and battle here. These guys are going to battle there. Um, oh, man. Just got to get one. <laughs> you just have to get one of those things. That's it. I know, but still, that those are the guys that are hard to hit, remember? <laughs> Um, and we're going to go one, two. This goes away. <sighs> yeah. All right, so we got these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys. They're all attacking. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go... Here first, um, these guys are going to have three two dice against the tanks. That's one hit. And then these guys are going to have three dice on the tanks, but stars are also going to count as hits because they have the anti-tank guns. So that's three dice, stars, and tanks. It's one hit. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that was a good idea, I guess. <clears throat> All right. Um, over here, we've got two dice against the armored car, tanks, and stars. Okay. That's one hit. Now I have to roll for a grenade. Nope. And over here, we have uh, three dice with no restrictions because we're same level of terrain. Actually, you know what? Let's do uh, let's do the ones down below first. So two dice, tanks, and stars. All right. So that's a retreat. But it's also a hit, so I got to re-roll this. If I get a hit, it's destroyed. If not, it retreats and it takes it out of line of sight. Nope. So he retreats. So he can retreat either to the river or the hill. All right, let me see where he wants to go. I'm assuming it's there, but let's double check that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what do we got over here. <clears throat> okay. Dutch Yoda says, if I buy M44, my M44 at Essen would teach me <laughs> if your schedule allows it. Yeah, I would do that if our schedule allows it. Just remember that Essen is our one of our busiest conventions. Um, but if I can work it out, I'd, I'd love to do that. I, I love playing M44. M44. All right. He went to the river. He went to the river. Okay. Um, all right. Well, then these guys up on the hill are going to take a shot at the tanks then. That's going to be two dice. Uh, and this is just regular. Are they out of sight here, though? No, they aren't. Because they follow. It's middle of the uh, hex to middle of the hex. And it follows this terrain here. This terrain doesn't block line of sight. This does. So if there had been another hill here, it would. It would block line of sight. But because there's only a hill on one side, we can see that you're there. So we are going to shoot at you. But it's three, two dice. Just tanks. Nothing. Well, that was a bunch of nothing. All right, hold on before you, before you start doing. Mm, before you do anything.
All right, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, that doesn't work out well. That could. Doesn't help though. I'm gonna do this. All right, go ahead. Oh, good night. Okay, All on the left. All right, do your worst, y'all. Uh, Whoa, Kabuki Kid is actually owning up to the fact that she still has some Betamax tapes. Come on, Kabuki. What's up? <laughs> Living the now. <laughs> All righty. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. It is what y'all? Yeah, I know. I know. All right. So these tanks can move up to. They can move zero to three and still battle. Now they get if they do a uh, close assault, they get any kind of. Uh... Nope. That's only infantry. So I mean, they'll be able to go one, two, three, and close assault. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and close assault if you want. They would be able to do that. But they don't get any extra dice or anything like that. Got it, but they could do overrun then. They could. If they, if if, close assault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just make sure which one is going to close assault. Okay. Pretty sure he means he's going to go here. Is that possible? Yeah. Wow, okay. Now let me just double check if he's going to go I would imagine he would. Oh, man. Let me see here. The tide is turning here. I can feel it. There's been an awakening. <laughs> let me just double check. They can move, the infantry can move two. They can move three, or they can move two and attack, right? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Four. Could possibly get two this round. Man, this is going to be close. Oh man. Oh man. Swiper, no swiping. That it? That's it. All right, where am I rolling? First against the oh, that stupid tank. artillery. I keep forgetting that thing is there. About where? Against the anti-tank. This guys? These guys? Yeah. That's uh, three, three, two, two, one. Miss! Right. Um, but... No, that's not big guns. Who be next, man? 
uh, two great tanks. Against the infantry? Yeah. All right, that's three. No, two, because of the sandbags. That is one retreat, which we will ignore. The other re yeah, the flag was over here. Kenny saw it. And then the other tank. This tank down here, too, then? I'm assuming that's going to be it. Yeah. You can just do that. I mean, the only other thing they have line of sight on is this, and that doesn't make sense. Two retreats, so I do have to retreat one, so we'll come back here. You can take ground. Yeah, of course, and then he can attack you again. Attack again. <clears throat> so three dice. One hit and another retreat. Which you don't have sandbags on, so. Right. But now, we get <laughs> now you get this. Yeah. And that takes away mine. So, I am down. Let me just move everybody down one. Now we Let's still have the tanks over there. Yep, the right these guys over here, right. So that's three dice. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's probably there. Yes. Got it. Hey, what are you rooting yes. for? What's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm supposed to be neutral right All right, yeah, you are. All right, so I'm assuming they're taking ground or no? Are you going to stay on the road? Uh, well, I'm guessing they're going to take ground and then try to... Jump. Shoot again. Well, let me see which one. It's up to them. Yep, they're going to take ground. Okay. And let me see if they're going to attack either the... Uh, Infantry or the cavalry. What are the amount of dice to get against either unit? Uh, you're battling three dice, uh, three hexes away. So it's three, three over here, two over here because they're up on a hill. And they're both the same hits are going to be. Yeah, they're both infantry units. Okay. So you're you're rolling the same amount of, you're rolling the same silhouettes. Cavalry. Yeah, makes sense. Um, that's one retreat, but because I can't retreat, I'm on the edge of the board. That's a kill. Uh, one model. All right. I think that's everybody. Yes, it is. You have done enough, Kenny. Mr. Celebratory jig there. All right. So go ahead and retake your card. Man, it is eight to eight. Goodness. I got one, one, and one. Recon. Enforce. Dude. All right. One is going to be this one right here. We're going to move two and then attack here. And then in the middle, in the middle, we're going to move one up here and attack there. And then on this side over here, we're going to go one, two, and attack there. Which, yeah, it was because I couldn't get my, I mean, I could use my flamethrower tanks to attack you there and not do this, but I think this is the better attack to make because I've got a better chance. I'm going to be rolling three dice and I can tanks and stars count. So that's the better attack. That one's just kind of to kind of set up for later. But uh, okay, here we go. All right, uh, starting with these guys over here. Um, they are, uh, let's make sure we can still battle though. Uh, unit may still, okay, they must stop, but it doesn't say that they can't attack. So we will attack and it says that we can make armor and overrun. 
So I've got three dice against these guys over here, and we're just looking for tank symbols. Okay, that's one. Which one are they going to? They have these guys. Oh, wait, you know what? Let me check something. No, it says infantry must always ignore one flag. So they have to retreat to one of these two spots. I guess moving to the right for now. What? Yeah, right. This is that. Right. Second. My right or your right? Our right. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we'll take ground and uh, get another attack. Another retreat. Up to the hill? Uh, or back here? Put us up on the hill. They haven't said it yet, but I'm assuming that's okay. Yeah. Just to be close and to we're, we're just going to stay there. All right, so that didn't work. All right, these guys up here, they're going to get three dice against these, but stars and tanks help. <laughs> and uh, we are not going to take ground. We're just going to stay. Um, and then over there, it's only two. It's three dice minus two, so it's only one die. That was kind of a... Actually, you know what? Why would I do that? I'm going to do three dice against your armored tank there. Your armor. Armor car. All right. That. Yeah. That gives, that's the, a chance at a medal. Yeah. So that's one hit. Now, if I can just reroll that, that grenade again. Nope. Oh, well. That was backwards. All right. That was my recon in force. But I inched a little bit closer. And I don't think I have any really soft targets out here. So I'm feeling okay. Mm. Please. Please. Hmm. So that's my card. So Sam, you don't have any presence on this hill ridge here at all. Again, those are uh, those are um, the um, yeah, okay. the they gain. Uh, oh, what is it? It's the um, it's turn start. Uh, but but um, no, I'm sorry. That's that's Kawatama Bridge. Uh, Banks again, height hexes and three rooms are two distinct groups that each form a temporary soul control, last to occupy. Yep. So All right. I understand. So, so it's so basically, it's at the start of the turn they have to have it controlled, right? Like in other words, if they were to, to get this bridge here, mm -hmm. get the star at at the beginning of your turn, would that be? It would be last to occupy. That's correct. So so they would immediately get the star. Like, in other words, if they got here to this ridge, they would get this star, and then you would evaluate that at the, at the beginning of the turn? Correct. So if they had 10 stars at the end of the turn, would that... Yes. Okay. So, yeah, you guys can cheese, move your armored car over there, and get the free point. <laughs> Is that what you're asking, Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault for, for not leaving a tank up there. Okay, apparently these people are talking about just, YouTube has broken down into uh, talking about uh, decades old tech. Commodore 64s, CED, CED discs, I don't even know what that means. Two in the middle and two on the move. Up onto that 
that hill. So I'm assuming it's this hill. Let me just double check that. You gotta tell me what you're doing, because oh. you only have two mo two units to move, and yeah, then yeah. you also have two those, on the moves. Those were the the moves and the attacks. Okay. And then this is a, a move, and then we're, I'm waiting for this last move. All right. The lone tank on the far hill diagonally. This one. I would imagine. Um, back left three spaces back left that way three spaces I think he or that way he's actually one two away. three yeah it looks like that's uh, that's understandable where did he start at here right there, so one like, two yeah, three that, they're hightailing it yeah, so that was your move and the the artillery was your uh, on the move yeah. on the move and that guy's on the move okay so you got uh, your armored car that's making an attack against what I think they're going for the winds. I, I think they're all going to be attacking this unit here, but let me just double check that. Okay. Okay, armored car against the flamethrowers. Okay. So that's two dice. Looking for tank symbols or grenades. There you go. And then you're gonna have three dice where stars and tanks count. Oh, oh man, this is gonna suck if you guys win this way. No, two retreats. Uh, so you're gonna lose one tank. Yeah, so we're gonna come back one and then lose one. Oops. Yep, but that makes me lose this. Ah, oh, gee whiz. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I'm an idiot. Alright, move out. Four infantry units. Train movement battle restrictions still apply. So we're gonna go one here, like that. These guys are gonna move one here and have an attack. That's one, two. Cavalry can move how far? Zero to three in still battle. One, two, three. Let me one, two, three. Don't forget that type type 97 that's right there on that card. Put it up in your, your casualties. 
Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And those are just straight up moves, right? No. Those are those are all movements. We can still battle. Um, because they can move three in battle. They only moved one. They only moved one. And they can move three and still battle as well. So, yeah, it's the move out card. It doesn't say that they can't battle. They just don't get any bonuses to battle. All right, so over here... Uh, we've got three, two, minus one, one die. Come on. Nope. Um, over here, we have uh, three, two, minus one. Yes. And these guys over here are going to do, um, they get three dice and tanks and stars hurt. Got them. All right. And. Yep. So that takes, yeah, that, that last one, just put it over here. Um. And we will take ground. Um, and then over there, just three dice, one hit, grenade. No, but I believe that's the game. Yep, that's enough. <sighs> oh, that was so close! Oh my goodness, I was. Internally biting my fingernails to the bone. Oh my goodness. Very good game, Rainer. Um, oh, I really did not want the game to end on a, on a, a just brain fart of mine. But, I mean, so be it. So be it. But, uh, wow. So, 10 to 8. We are done. 10 to 8. Wow. All right. Still good game. Really good game. Uh, let's see here. Um, virtual handshake. There you go. Good job, Rainer. Uh, and uh, Twitch. Uh, very good game. Good night in the morning. All right. Well, we have been at this now for two and a half hours. So we're going to ixnay on the... Uh, um, on the Q&A part. We're just going to go ahead and get on out of here because uh, this has been longer than we usually do it. I do want to thank everybody for joining. I hope you enjoyed everything. Uh, only about 79 watching, 79.80 right now are watching on YouTube. How many we got going on uh, Twitch? Probably just a few, yeah? Uh, let's see, you got about, about 14, 15? Yeah. All right, well, that's not bad, not bad. Well, we appreciate you joining in. And, uh, oh, snap -a Rooney! I almost forgot. Uh, now, you see these little terrain hexes that I've been using that are hills. Uh, some of them are kind of scratched up um, but because they've been used. <laughs> but they still look really well. And uh, those of you who might be more artistically inclined could possibly, um, you know, uh, touch them up, make them look a little bit better than what they are. Anyway, uh, the, let me, uh, I forgot his full name. I want to get his full name going on here. Uh, did you end? No. No? Huh. All right, well, I'm just going to refresh then. Yeah, I'm just going to refresh. All right, cool. Uh, let me go back to uh, something real quick because I want to make sure that... Uh, 
Ryan Lambricht. Ryan Lambricht is a is a fan of ours that that made these for Tom and I, and then he then uh, when Tom just you know gave me his, I, I took all of them. And they are really cool. As you can see, they really make those hills pop. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to run a contest here. And I didn't tell uh, Kenny about this because I forgot <laughs> in, in the hustle bustle trying to get this set up earlier this morning. Uh, but we're going to run a contest on um, which which one do you which one do you want? Yeah, it's, uh, contest at dicetower.com is, is where you need to send the email. You want to do it just on Twitch or, or let's do just Twitch because you guys were the ones that were kind of the, the, the hive mind that were battling me today. So you guys that are on Twitch, we're going to do a contest for you guys. I'm sorry, YouTube will get you uh, doing something on another day. Um, uh, but on Twitch... Uh, go ahead and put in the uh, keyword heights, H-E-I-G-H-T-S. Well, I won't work that way because you already sent the, the code, so now they both know. What code? Oh, are you seeing the code right now? Yeah, but only if you're from Twitch. Come on, guys, honor code. <laughs> honor code. This is what we said. Come on, guys. Be nice. Be pleasant citizens of the Internet. Um, <laughs> plus, if we get more than 15 or 16 emails, we'll know that somebody wasn't doing honor code. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, I, I don't know. I guess, you know, whatever. Heights is the code word. Whatever. It's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot that way sometimes. And these are the memoir uh, terrain? Yeah, these are for my complete set of the Countryside Hill... Uh, 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 terrain hex modify 3D thingies that Ryan Lambrecht made for us. And uh, I'm sure if you contact him on, well, I don't know, I haven't been given uh, permission to say contact him, but um, you maybe, I don't know, he, he, maybe, he'd like, maybe he'll share the plans with you or something like that, tell you what he did. Uh, basically, they're just wooden blocks that have a, uh, a, a, a printed out copy of that terrain uh, glued onto it is what I can tell. But uh, they're just um, maybe uh, three quarter inch plywood or I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it looks like plywood, but uh, but it, it's really cool. And it's very, I would imagine, I know he put a lot of work into them, uh, but I, uh, I don't know what the cost to work ratio would be. I'll put it that way, but they really make the game look Great. So what I'm going to do is run a contest for the countryside hill terrains. Uh, these little guys, all of them, you can get all of them because uh, um, they're really cool. And so we'll work that out. And uh, Kenny, go ahead and just uh, pick, pick one of those emails right now if you can. Can you do that? I could, but I have to wait for them to okay. you know, give them a couple minutes. All right. We'll give them a couple minutes. Um, and we'll announce it on our next, on our next, okay. on our next one. Uh, that, that, just because we need, we need to get out of here. But anyway, on that note, next week we won't be doing a, a live playthrough because the boys and I will be in uh, at the gathering of friends next week. But the week following, we'll pick it right back up where we stopped with uh, number four. And uh, let's see, number four is going to be the. Soviet infiltration is the name of the scenario. Uh, so that will be pretty good. We are basically neck and neck for how many medals we've won. So this is still kind of a draw campaign and next, uh, the next one will be halfway over. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for joining. I certainly appreciate it. Hope you had a good time. I definitely did. This is a great game. So we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks on the next one. That's where the flip side is. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.